When the Mushroom Desert was updated and the Jake NPC was added, most people thought that he was pretty useless. There were some obviously useful items like the Lucky Dice, but today I'm here to explain how one of the items in his shop is absolutely OP for fishing. This item can nearly triple the profits that you get from a type of fishing and it is insanely cheap. It costs only a thousand coins and can make you millions. Before I tell you guys what this item is, I'm gonna ask that you subscribe and join my Discord server for more fun videos like this. I really enjoy making videos for all of you guys, and I want to make more in the future, and subscribing really really helps me out. And with that, let's get right into the video. If you don't know who Jake is, Jake is an NPC that you can find on the Mushroom Desert Island that is found at the very top of one of the highest mountains. If you bring animals to him, he opens up a shop specific to that animal. Many other YouTube videos cover the other useful items that this guy has, but most of them have not covered this one item in particular. This item is kind of unexpected, and that is in fact the Rabbit Axe. You can get this item by grabbing a rabbit from all the way down in the oasis, taking it up to Jake, and then giving it to him. This will unlock a shop that allows you to buy this item, and of course it only costs a thousand coins, and it's really really cheap, and if you see, I can buy one, and then that's it. It's really easy to do, and you can buy as many of them as you want, it doesn't really have a cap I don't think, and it is super super cheap. There isn't really much you can do with this axe, there aren't very many things you can enchant it with, just regular axe enchants, but the item ability is what is super powerful. When you kill a rabbit, it increases its drops by two. At first, this ability seems really, really lame. When I kill a rabbit, instead of getting that amount of drops, I'll just get a little bit more. And of course, that isn't really good. <laughs> it's not really insane, that ability, but regular rabbits aren't what make this axe good. The thing that makes this axe so ridiculously good is that it doesn't just include regular rabbits, it also includes carrot kings. And carrot kings drop a very special item called the Lucky Clover Core. To catch carrot kings, you have to be at least fishing level 15, and you have to be using carrot bait. Carrot bait is only really good because it's for carrot fishing and you can catch carrot kings, and this makes it way, way better. When you're carrot fishing and you catch a carrot king, the first thing that you want to do is max out your magic find. I'm going to put on a black cat, and I'm going to switch to my magic find armor, and then I'm not going to kill it with what I would normally use, which would be a Daedalus Axe. A Daedalus Axe would give me 7 more magic find, however if I kill it with the Rabbit Axe, you lose a little bit of magic find, but you have a chance to triple the number of lucky clover cores you get. Of course, I didn't drop a clover core right there, however, if you are using this setup and you do drop a clover core, it doesn't just drop one, it drops three, because, of course, the ability increases the number of drops from a rabbit by two. And yes, of course, if you do have a maxed out set of sorrow like this, then you do want to be fishing with people around you, however, it is 1am and I don't have friends that fish at 1am, so I'm just fishing alone, however, if you do have the chance to do this, it is really, really good. I went to a mega hub to test out how much magic find I could get, and the answer is, with a black cat, I could get 248 magic find, which is pretty insane. It doesn't work on rabbit hats or on caster books, and that's because I don't think this mechanic is entirely intended, so it doesn't work on stackable items. I've seen things like this before in other sort of exploits, but this one doesn't really feel like an exploit, it's just part of the item that they sort of overlooked. After fishing alone for about an hour or so, I finally called up one of my friends, and they have absolutely insane carrot luck, and in the first 20 minutes, they managed to get a triple drop on them, and here's the clip right now. Um, of course, it's kind of low quality, and you gotta excuse that, but it is really, really insane that you can get three clover cores from one rabbit, and at the current prices, that is a little over three and a half million coins. And then later on, right, not right now because a lot of prices are low because so many people are fishing, but if you wait a little bit, then those will go up significantly more. And I think if you have decent luck, you can probably make around 8 mil an hour doing this. Of course, they will go down over time as more people start doing this. And there's a chance that this also gets reverted. However, it makes stupid, stupid amounts of money in its current state. 
if you can manage to get lucky with it, you can get stupid, stupid amounts of money. Like I said earlier, Jojo has insane luck with carrot fishing. I really don't know how. And if they'd been using this method the entire time, I think they would have made around 60 million coins with all of the carrots that they've caught since Marina started. Not even in the entire time that they've spent carrot fishing, but just since Marina started, they probably would have made an extra 40 million coins. I have a few quick notes that I've learned in the time that I've been doing this, which is that first, I do actually recommend that you either are in a private or very small lobby, or you're an entirely full lobby with all people that you know. It is very nice to be able to switch to a magic find set and not have to worry about some non coming along and slicing it before you get the chance, and so that is a lot better when you're in a private lobby. Also, you can barn fish with this exact same thing and then kill all the mobs with the rabbit axe. However, it's kind of annoying because this deals very, very little damage. And even if you have max recon tallies like I do, I was still only dealing around 40k per hit with this. And that can be very annoying when you're trying to deal damage to things with a million health. If you do want to, you can upgrade this with some hot potato books. That is very cheap and it's a very pretty good damage buff, however, um, uh, you're hot potatoing a, a wooden axe, and so then you're kind of weird, so like, that's up to you. And with that, I think that just about wraps up this video. I swear to god, this probably isn't intended, and there's a chance that this does get patched in the future, but at the moment, it is really, really good, and I recommend that you do this and share it with as many people as you can. Also, I want to quickly shout out the person that told me about this, his name is Acid Apple Juice. he's a really nice guy. And he told me about this method, and I very much appreciate it because it is really, really insane. If you want to see more videos like this in the future, subscribe, like, and join my Discord server, which is linked in the description. I love hanging out in there and talking to all of you guys, and it really helps me out when you subscribe. With that, I'll see you guys later, and adios. Wait, I feel like I'm missing something. Oh yeah. Unfortunately, I'm not a shark in real life.